In this short video, we're going to look at uh, Standard 8, Element B. Examine James K. Polk's presidency in the fulfillment of Manifest Destiny, including the Texas annexation in Oregon. All right, so we're looking at President James K. Polk. He was president from 1845 through 1849. He was the 11th president of the United States. The main thing to remember about him, he was responsible for the completion of Manifest Destiny. Manifest Destiny was the God-given right to expand from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Many Americans believed in the idea of Manifest Destiny. You see a picture right here, painting of Manifest Destiny which means going to the west, westward expansion to the Pacific Ocean from the east. So take a few minutes. You can pause this video and look and see um, any key points, anything that stands out to you about this painting of Manifest Destiny. Okay, hopefully you've unpaused, so I'm going to click on the next slide right there. John Gast, American Progress, 1872. The artist depicts Columbia, an allegorial figure of America, brings elements of civilization west. As railroads, settlers, and telegraph wires come west, American Indians and bison scatter before them. You also see an angel with a Bible in her hand uh, illustrating about the God-given belief that the American citizen, the colonist, the U.S. citizens were given the right to expand westward from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Manifest Destiny, while it had some positive things, had a negative impact on the Native Americans and their way of life by taking Native American land and the land of the animals they depended on for food, clothing, and other basic needs. Annexation. Annexation is defined as the adding of territory to a country that it does not previously own. All right, let's look at the annexation of Oregon. You'll see the map right here to give you a little bit of visual right there for you visual learners. President Polk completed Manifest Destiny by annexing Oregon, which allowed the United States to reach the Pacific Ocean. President Polk's slogan was 54, 40, or fight. And you'll see the line above there at the top of your map, the 54, 40 line. Instead of fighting with Great Britain who controlled Canada over the entire Oregon Territory over the 54, 40 line, the United States made a treaty with Great Britain to divide the Oregon Territory at the 49th parallel line. And you can look at the map right here, British North America, is in the green the united states is below the 49th parallel in the orange so great britain controlled the oregon territory above the 49th parallel line while the united states controlled the oregon territory below the 49th parallel through annexation of oregon territory in 1846 polk had fulfilled manifest destiny of the united states to span the North America continent from Atlantic to Pacific coastlines.